Hello, fourth and fifth graders. This is your work for Monday, May 4th. Um, I hope you had a great weekend. We're going to start off on page 214, distinguishing the parts of speech. Today for work, you are going to start doing this. We're going to do a couple sentences together, but um, what you're going to do today is you're going to write out your preposition list two times, okay? Two times to help you memorize it. So let's go ahead and say these prepositions together. Ready? Begin. Aboard, about, above, across, after, against, along, among, around, at, before, behind, below, beneath, beside, between, beyond, by, down, during, except, for, from, in, inside, into, like, near, of, off, on, over, past, since, through, throughout, to, toward, under, underneath, until, up, upon, with, within, without. Okay, let's say it one more time. Ready? Aboard, about, above, across, after, against, along, among, around, at, before, behind, below, beneath, beside, between, beyond, by, down, during, except, for, from, in, inside, into, like, near, of, off, on, over, past, since, through, throughout, to, toward, under, underneath, until, up, upon, with, within, without. All right, let's see if you can close your books and say it without looking at that list, okay? Try to say it with me. I'm not going to look at the book, okay? I've already had most of these memorized, but um, I want you to learn how to memorize these and uh, strive your best to memorize them already. Um, let's go ahead and begin again from the top. All right, you ready, Sam? All right, I'm running out of breath a lot quicker this time, so if you hear me kind of pause, just know that it's uh, it's me losing my breath here, but you keep going. All righty, ready? Aboard, about, above, across, after, against, along, among, around, at, before, behind, below, beneath, beside, between, beyond, by, down, during, except, for, from, in, inside, into, like, near, of, off, on, over, past, since, through, throughout, to, toward, under, underneath, until, up, upon, with, within, without. Alrighty, did you almost say that list without looking at it? Okay. Very good. Let's go ahead and review some parts of speech here. We've already talked about the eight parts of speech. Let's begin with the first part of speech that we talked about from the very beginning, which was the verb. What is a verb? Okay, a verb is a word that what? Shows action, it shows linking, or it shows state of being. Okay, uh, name your state of being verbs with me. Ready? There's eight of them. Begin. Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been. If you see any of these words in your, uh, in your sentences, automatically you should be thinking that is a verb. Okay, uh, let's go over our, what a noun is. Oh, um... Your helping verbs. I think we talked about helping verbs. Yes, helping verbs. Alrighty. Remember, your eight state of being verbs are also included in the helping verb list. So let's go ahead and go over that together. Ready? Am, is, are, was, were, being, being, been, have, has, had, do, does, did, shall, will, should, could, would, may, might, must, lonely, can. Okay, the word lonely is not a verb. Alrighty, just remember that. All right, and then, so we talked about those. Uh, verbs and remember that verbs can also have helpers so at times you might have a verb phrase that means you have uh, one or two more helping verbs the list that we just said right now or uh, and plus the plus the main verb okay such as am walking we have the main verb walking and am is a helper to walking so we call that a verb phrase okay don't forget about that and then let's go into nouns what is a noun a noun is a person place thing or idea okay and now there's a person place thing or idea let's go into what a pronoun is what is a pronoun a pronoun is a word that what takes the place of a what of a noun already they're like substitutes whenever I'm not here or if ever I'm not here who comes in to take my place a, a substitute right so um, if we have a substitute come take my place in this case, in, in grammar, we call those pronouns. What are our pronouns? Well, let's begin saying our pronoun list together. Ready? We're gonna start with, I gave it to me because it's my mind. Ready? I gave it to me because it's my mind. Very good. You gave it to you because it's your yours. He gave it to him because it's his. She gave it to her because it's her hers. Um, it gave it to it because it's its. We gave it to us because it's our ours. Um, they gave it to them because it's their theirs. I think we've gone all over all of them. I don't have my list there in front of me saying this from memory. Okay, so if you have any words like that that are taking the place of a noun, we, we also have an antecedent. The antecedent is the word for which the pronoun stands. So um, the antecedent will be uh, the, pr the pronoun, or the, uh, you have to have a pronoun in that sentence for which that pronoun is standing for or taking the place of. 
Okay, um, let's go into adjectives. What is an adjective? An adjective is a word that what? Modifies a what? Noun or a pronoun. Okay, um, if, you're, if, if a word is further describing what a noun or pronoun is, then that is an adjective. Okay, uh, the five questions that an adjective asks, let's ask them together, ready? Which one, what kind, how many, how much, and whose? Very good. Let's go into adverbs. We're just quickly reviewing this here. An adverb is a word that modifies or describes three things. What three things? A verb, adjective, or another adverb, okay? What are the uh, questions that an ad uh, adverb asks? Uh, by the way, if I say an extra one, sometimes I, I throw in that extra one because I'm used to saying the extra one, but it's uh, how, when, why, where, how often, and to what extent. And then we talked about prepositions in this unit. What is a preposition? Okay, a preposition. A preposition is a word, uh, is a word that shows a relationship between a noun or a pronoun after its object and some other word in the sentence, all right? We know those prepositions. We just said them a couple minutes ago. Anytime you see one of those words in a um, in a sentence, you should think, okay, is this a is this a preposition? If if it has, I'm going to tell you how, how you know how you're going to know if it's a preposition or not. If uh, if it has an object, remember the preposition has a best friend. What is in the name of the best friend? It's the op, the object of the preposition. A preposition is. Uh, if you have a prepositional phrase, we'll start with a preposition and it'll end with a noun, which will give you a prepositional phrase there. So that's when you know we also gave you the test and we also, you know, help or we also saw here in our books how we can know how to distinguish a preposition from an adverb. And remember, an adverb will modify or describe a verb, adjective, or another adverb. Most of the time it'll modify the verb, but um just remember that every time you see a word that looks like a preposition, make sure you double check and see if the best friend is there, okay, the noun after the object there, and see if, um, if it's not modifying any other word. If it's modifying a word, it's not, it's not a preposition. It is an adverb, okay? Then we talked about conjunctions. What is a conjunction, okay? A conjunction is a word that uh, used um, in a sentence to connect words, groups of words, or uh, sentences. Okay, what are the six, uh, the six common uh, co uh, conjunctions? Okay, and, but, or, nor, for, and yet. Okay, so we have those conjunctions. And then we talked about interjections. Interjections do what? They show strong or sudden feeling. Okay, strong, strong or sudden feeling. We're going to go into think A here. I know I've, I've taken a few minutes here to go over it just because I feel like it's necessary before we start doing think A. Don't forget, before you do this, or even after you do this exercise here on page 214, Make sure you write your preposition list two times on notebook paper. And then be prepared to write it from memory, okay? Uh, I know that you're not at school right now and nobody's really watching you, but try your best to not look at that book and try your best to memorize it without looking at it, okay? Uh, number one, uh, think A says here, above each word, write its parts of speech, a noun, verb, pronoun, adjective, adverb, prep, or conjunction or interjection. Number one, Jennifer, have you heard of Benjamin Banneker? Okay, so here we have a couple words here, which are very obvious. If you think, well, how am I going to know if this is a, all these eight parts of speech, Mrs. Campos? Well, I feel like if you know and you have a good idea of what, um, of what basically, basically the first few parts of speech that we learned, you should do well on this, okay? We're going to start off with prepositions and prepositional phrases. If you want to find any first, that's what help. That's what help has helped me in the past, and I think I believe it'll help you as well. Okay, Jennifer, have you heard of Benjamin Banneker? Now, right away, I see a preposition, and I also see an object of the preposition. I see the word of, and the op to that prepositional phrase is Benjamin Banneker. It's a noun, so that's my op. Remember the best friend of that uh, of this right here. So I'm going to put prep above prep. I'm going to put noun above Benjamin Banneker. Now, I'm gonna draw a line that goes like that, just so you know, I hope you can see that, yes. Um, just so you know that uh, Benjamin Banneker is one noun. It's not two separate nouns, it's one. It's his first name and last name. Okay, so we have our prepositions on the way. We have a noun there. Um, let's see if we can find anything else, okay? So you see a verb, okay? We have have and heard, okay? So I'm gonna put verb here and verb here. Okay, what is Jennifer here? Okay, uh, have, uh, Jennifer is what? 
is a noun, and then you is what? Who or what have heard? You. But you here is not a noun. It's what? It's a pronoun. It's taking the place of Jennifer, the aunt's penis. We put P-R-O above that. All right? Very simple. All right? We just did number one. Number two. Number two. Why he was a free black farmer, astronomer, and mathematician. Okay? I'm going to start off with seeing if I have any prepositional phrases. I don't see any here, but I do see quite a few nouns. Okay? What nouns do you see? We see farmer, noun, astronomer, noun, mathematician, noun, and uh, I think that's it. Yes. All right. And then um, what other things do you see? Do you see a verb? We see was. Okay. We see that's it. All right. And then what is the word he? He is a what? He is taking the place of Benjamin uh, Banneker here. So it's a pronoun. It's a substitute.